Hey YouTube, it's me, JokerFam45. Um, I wanted to uh, give my quick thoughts on uh, this uproar on this new Thomas Global spinoff. Yeah, look, my hair looks like a mess, I get it. I gotta go do some homework in a few minutes, but I need to share my thoughts because this idea of the fandom going nuts complaining about this change that Thomas is about to go through next year. Apparently he's going to be traveling all over the globe, and there's going to be uh, two new characters, an engine from Africa and an engine from the mainland that are going to be joining the cast of a spinoff. Now, personally, I don't think this is going to be a permanent change. I think this is just for one season, because it'll be focused on, you know, Thomas traveling the world, and he'll be telling his stories, and Nia and Rebecca, the other new engine, are going to be talking with him to the other engines, talking about their stories. Um, let's see, what else? So, I don't think the series is going to make a change, and a big change for long. It could, but who knows. But, um, Milshiri, I can't... I don't remember his first name, but um, he said he hinted that Edward's switch to the Wellsworth shed is going is meaning something. So something is coming for the older fans too. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe they're introducing Bear. We don't know, or other characters like that. Maybe Boko's coming back. We do not know. But my. Thoughts on people complaining about the Thomas, Thomas going all over the world. Me? I like the idea. Reverend Andre did come up with the idea of Thomas wanting to go and see the world, and of course, he gets his own branch line, he gets to travel, but then Christopher Audrey tackled Thomas going to the mainland in Thomas and the Great Railway Show. So Thomas going global is actually a neat concept. I don't understand why people are getting in a big uproar. And I know what you people are thinking. Like, if you're okay with this change, you're not a real Thomas fan. Nye, 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 nye. I know the unlucky Tug complained about the uh, spinoff. And you know what? That's his opinion. I'm not going to judge. But me, personally, I have no problem with this temporary change. If it's a permanent change, oh well. I hope it isn't, honestly, but if it is, I don't know. I mean, parents want th wanted something new for the kids. I mean, like, one comment a mom made said that she wanted her daughter to have pink Thomas stuff for girls. She didn't want to buy blue boy stuff for her. And I'm like, I admit, I'm like, that's the franchise's main color, blue. Of course everything is going to be freaking blue, like the Disney cars. That theme is red. So, a lot of the merchandise packaging and clothing is going to be red. So, I agree with that, but... You know, maybe a few pink clothes for the girls wouldn't hurt. With that said, Thomas is a franchise for kids. Yes, there are older fans too. And... I'm sure the company will understand that, yeah, not everyone's going to be happy with the changes, but these are the changes they chose to make. We got to accept that. If you don't want to watch the new Thomas, you don't have to. The old show is still there on video and DVD for you to watch. I mean, heck, there are a couple of streaming services that have it. Amazon Prime has the classic series for people in the U.S. I don't know about the U.K. Maybe they do. But my thoughts are, if I was doing, if I was in charge of the Thomas franchise, I admit I probably wouldn't have Thomas glowing, going global right away. I mean, maybe for like an occasional movie or something, but I wouldn't do it for um, the TV show. But if that's what they're doing, that's okay. I have no problem with it. I'm 
I am a Thomas fan, but I'm not a Thomas fan that likes to complain. Now, if you have a problem with the new series, hey, that's your opinion. But I ask that you respect mine and be mature because I've been a fan of Thomas since I was a little kid. And if I heard that Thomas was going to be traveling the world, I'd still enjoy it. I would like it as a kid. I mean, as a kid, I still like Magic Railroad. Do I see problems with it now? Sure, but hey, Thomas on the big screen, that was a pretty big deal. So, hey, it happened, and I got to enjoy it. And I still find the Magic Railroad nostalgic. So, yeah. I just wish people would stop complaining and just enjoy the franchise for what it is, and... Me, I'm going to give the show a chance and see where it goes. If it's bad, okay. Then I will probably, then I will maybe address some complaints I have. But the show has not aired yet. This spinoff has not aired yet. So I am going to say, let's see what happens. I'm not going to complain just yet. Let's see where it goes. This is JokerFan45 signing off, and I'll see you around.